Finally, let's do the true and falses. The first true and false asks that the normal curve can be used to describe all distributions. And as you saw on your assignments, we had some data from football players, and the data was not normal. And all the things we did with it were wrong if we used the normal. So the normal cannot be used to describe all distributions. This is definitely false. The normal model can only be used for data that is normal, which is unimodal and symmetric. Next, an observation with a z-score of 0.5 would be considered an outlier. And this is definitely false. 0.5 is only 0.5 standard deviations above the mean, which is very close. This would be a guy, if guys are on average 5 foot 10 with a standard deviation of 3, this would be a guy who's 5'11.5, because that's a half a standard deviation. And that's a very small amount to be above the mean, and you're very close, so that would not be an outlier. If all of the data points in a skewed right data set are converted into z-scores, the distribution of these z-scores will be normally distributed. This actually relates to the very first question, and no, they would not be normal. You can't make things normal by changing them to z-scores. We would just have a data set that is skewed right and is now z-scores. So turning things into z-scores does not change the shape. If we standardize something, it does not change the correlation, nor does it change the shape. It would still be skewed right. It would still have the correlation it has. We've just standardized it or we've changed the units, which is what standardizing is. Bar charts are used to graphically display both quantitative and categorical variables. And this is definitely false because bar charts and pie charts go together and they are used to display categorical data. A bar chart is categorical univariate, and so is a pie chart. If we wanted to display a quantitative variable, we would need something like a histogram, a box plot, or a stem and leaf. We cannot display quantitative data in a bar chart. Next, every time an x variable is added to a decision tree, the value of r squared will increase. And this is very true. If we are going to add in a variable, it's that it does something. It explains some variation. So when we add in a variable, it will explain variation and R squared will increase. And this relates to the last question. X's explain and they will explain variation and every split we do will increase R squared. This is definitely true. When doing a pivot table in Excel, the default value displayed is the sum of the selected variables. And this is definitely true. As you've noticed, you will get the sum every time you start when you put it into values displayed. So it'll just sum up everything and then you can change it to average, you can change it to min, you can change it to max. There's lots of options. Right here is the playlist. Finally, when we use an X value that is outside of the range of X's we used in the regression equation, what are we doing? Well, a value outside of the range of X's plugged into the equation would be an extrapolation of the regression equation. We are extrapolating. Extrapolating means using an X that is outside of the range of the X's used in the equation, and now the equation is giving us something unreliable because the equation was built around a certain range of X's and we are outside that range. This does it for the test. If you have questions, make sure to email me. 